Willie Littlechild is the mastermind behind these games. APTN's Tamara Pimentel caught up with him earlier. The games were supposed to happen in Edmonton and now they're only on Treaty 6 territory. Mm -hmm. what, it, what is that like having these people from all over the world here? Well, I think it's actually better. It's amazing because all the visitors are had wanted to visit indigenous communities anyway. And as it turns out, we've got six host First Nations. Uh, the Enoch Cree Nation, of course, Alexis Cree Nation, and the four Muscochis uh, Cree uh, Nation, so that uh, we're split up in, in terms of the activities, but uh, it's turning out to be much better. And why? what is the significance of having these traditional games on traditional grounds? Well, it's very significant. In fact, it's the right place. It's probably the, actually the right way to do it. Uh, it connects us to Mother Earth, you know, the, the source of the games that we play that are traditional come from uh, Mother Earth and nature in terms of the, uh, the forests, for example, in the waters. So uh, it's just the appropriate way to celebrate life in terms of our culture, to show the diversity of our culture. And you saw the diversity today at the, uh, the ceremony. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, it was just simply amazing. It was really, really amazing. We had 16 countries uh, represented in the grand entry at the Irminskin powwow, and when the uh, traditional dancers came in, I think there was over 900 dancers. So all the guests from the other countries were just totally, totally amazed, and so were we. It was an amazing, powerful uh, event. And tomorrow, the first game that's going to be played is archery. Mm -hmm. What is? Can you, can you tell me a bit, a bit about the? I guess, traditional background behind archery? Well, there's different uh, perspectives to archery in uh, different countries. Some are very traditional uh, spiritually. For example, only men are allowed to use the bow and arrow or to touch the bow and arrow. In other places, it's a um, uh, hunting activity. Uh, so there's different perspectives. Uh, there's a modern archery uh, perspective as well, that's competition. Uh, but um, you'll see the ceremonial aspect of archery from the different tribes once they get going. They have paintings, for example, on the bows, because you have to make your own bow and arrows. You can't buy at a sports shop uh, unless we introduce a modern type of uh, competition, which we're thinking about. So uh, it's very special from different perspectives. Is there anything else you want to say, something maybe you're looking forward to the most for all of this? Well, I think in terms of uh, impact, we sure want to influence the youth. Uh, we say this is about a celebration of life and for the youth uh, to be proud of their culture, to choose life over other options. And uh, that would be the main thing, I think, to, to come and watch, and feel and celebrate together the various diverse cultures that are going to be here for the rest of the week.